Hey guys, it's Russell back, and on today's video, we are going to be reviewing Chemical Guys Citrus Wash and Gloss. As some of you guys have pointed out in my very last video I did, where I recapped all the uh, Chemical Guys car washes I did, you said, hey, where's the review of Citrus Wash and Gloss? That was the very first shampoo I did. I didn't do it this style of review. That's the one I did with my neighbor's Raptor. So it wasn't technically a review, it was more just showing the product in use. And I only use that because that's what he uses on his vehicles. So I want to go ahead and do this video in the traditional style that we have always done it. We will be using the Submachine Gun MTM style foam cannon to check the foaming ability of the Citrus Washing Gloss. And also we'll be doing a bucket test to check out the foamage and how it operates in a hand wash. One of the things that's interesting about this is this is probably, I would say, Chemical Guy's top two as far as popularity. I would say this and Mr. Pink seem to be getting the most fanfare around Chemical Guy's. Um, this being a citrus-based cleaner, it's a premium car wash, it, it does separate, so when you get it, you'll have to shake it up so that it almost looks like it's a, like a lemon meringue. What you need to be careful with, with this, with Citrus Wash Clear, or any citrus-based shampoos, is this. There's two things. Number one, if you use this in a concentration that is higher than what is specified on the directions for a regular maintenance wash, which this is one ounce per five gallons of water, and in the foam cannon we'll be using one ounce per ten ounces of warm water. You can use this at one ounce per gallon of water if you want to strip your sealant or wax protection um, off of your car. Why would you want to do this? Well, if you're getting ready to redo your wax you, you want, or your sealant, you want to clay bar the car, you want to do some paint correction, you need to get all the protection off first so you, you're right at the, the clear coat to work with. So please be very careful when you are using this or any other citrus based uh, car soap, car wash, because if you exceed the amount that is going basically the dilution ratio, you can, you have a probability of stripping that off. So if it's not your, if you're just doing a maintenance wash, a lot of people will just dump a lot of, of the soap into their foam cannon or into their bucket, you could potentially um, basically get rid of any wax or sealant protection. And if that's not your um, reason for doing it, then just follow the dilution ratio that's on the back of this label. So enough talking. It's a absolutely beautiful day outside and we're going to be doing this on the Honda. And people ask, why are you doing it on the Honda? It's because the car is dark. The foam is white. It shows a very good contrast with the camera. You can see the foam structure uh, and it just it's much better than using a lighter colored car. So let's go outside and get to it. Car is filthy dirty. All right, so I've got my mixture. I've got 10 ounces of warm water and one ounce of citrus washing gloss in our MTM foam cannon. So let's see how this works.
Okay, one of the first things you notice about Citrus washing gloss is that this in the MTM foam cannon makes really, really, really thick foam. It's probably about 70 degrees out here. Um, as with some of the other chemical guys, car soaps, it has a very tight foam structure interlaced with a, um, a medium amount of open cell foam. And I'm hoping the camera can pick this up. You can see it looks like little um, pockets in there. Those are the larger uh, foam structure. And then you've got the smaller, tighter foam structure. I'm sure that is indicative of the chemical makeup of this car soap. All right, so I'm going to let this sit on the car just like we've always done, and then we'll come back and show you how the foam clung to the different areas. All right, we're coming up on about the six minute, six and a half minute mark. The foam looks like it's clinging pretty well to the more horizontal surfaces. Um, this being this part being in the shade, and then this part being um, in the sun. However, it's about 60% dry on the vertical surfaces. Um, it doesn't cling quite as as aggressively as I thought it would, but um, I guess that's to be expected. A lot of the other tests were done when the temperatures were in the 50s and 60s. The warmer it gets, the faster the soap uh, or the foam is going to run off the car. So let's go ahead and rinse this and see if it leaves any type of a film or more importantly, let's see if it has stripped any of our wax protection. The uh, citrus washing gloss did not, at that dilution ratio that we used, strip any of my wax or paint sealant protection. It, well, it, it, it rinses very cleanly. There's not a lot of film. What's interesting to note is the the foam is very tenacious, meaning um, it doesn't dissipate very, very quickly for, I don't know, probably an hour or so that foam will be sitting there on the concrete. Um, it did remove a good portion of the surface contaminants through our initial pre-wash. Keep in mind that when you're doing a foam bath like this, it's only going to remove the non-bonded contaminants. It will not remove the contaminants that have been allowed to um, set on the surface or dry on the surface, like road film and all that. It will knock the loose stuff off. 
Um, so what we're going to do next is we're going to get our camera set up and we'll show you what it performs like in a hand or bucket wash. Alright, so I've got my bucket full of uh, warm water here. And what we're going to do is we're going to take one ounce of the citrus washing gloss and use this as our bucket solution. One thing to note is the consistency of this car soap is extremely, stuff is extremely thick. This is almost the same thickness as maybe a, almost a, uh, a wet carnauba wax. It supposedly has a lemon scent to it, but I cannot detect anything like that. Um, when we pour it into the water, you'll notice that it doesn't, it's not readily homogeneous um, until you agitate it. The paste or buttery consistency dissipates and it ends up turning into something that looks um, strangely like Prestone antifreeze. It's that kind of color, a fluorescent green. So one thing is weird is you'll see that on the bottom the soap will sit. It's like globules. So you definitely want to agitate this up before you use it. Um, yeah, I can pick it up. I just I think it's because this is just so concentrated. It has a very slick feeling to it. I would say this is very very close to Wonder Wash as far as its slickness. So let me get the pressure washer and let's agitate this and see if we can get any foam out of it. Alright, you probably noticed it took a little bit more than normal. I usually think I use about three or four squirts of the pressure washer to foam it up. Um, the foam, it's got a very, it's a very dense closed cell foam structure. Um, it's weird because you can hear it effervescing slightly. The water is very slick. Okay, I'm going to say this is very similar and on par with Wonder Wash, but obviously it makes a lot better uh, suds. So what I'm going to do is we're going to be using, you notice I only have one bucket. We're going to be using multiple wash mitts, never putting a dirty mitt back in our solution bucket so we never get the water dirty. It'll take about uh, probably five mitts to thoroughly do this car. I'll dip it in there once, do half of a panel or section, flip it over, do the other half, and then I will discard that into the washing machine to be uh, laundered. Let me get the camera set up and we will see how citrus washing gloss works in a hand wash.
All right, guys, I pulled the car inside because the uh, sun was glaring and it doesn't really look that good on camera. So what do I think of the citrus washing gloss? Um, I think it's a very good shampoo. Um, I would rate it excellent in a foam cannon for certain. In a hand wash, it did everything I asked it to do. It didn't leave any type of residue, any type of um, contaminants. It was easy uh, to rinse off. The car looks great. Um, now, the question is, would I use this as my daily or weekly maintenance wash? And the answer would be no. Despite the fact that it cleans well, it is still a citrus product. And so far, the Adams paint sealant has been on here for right at um, almost a year and a half. So it's only not even supposed to last a year, but with proper care it will. So um, I would, uh, you know, I'd use it as a strip wash. And again, I don't think it did anything to our paint sealant at all. But I, there, I think there are other shampoos out there that clean just as good and do not have any, um, they're really, really pH balanced and don't have any sort of chance of harming the finish. Now, if you don't care about that and you just want a, a soap that cleans really well by all means i mean citrus washing gloss is a very good it's a very good soap i like it um you know i've got a bottle of it that i bought to do the test and i will use it again but um like i said before it's not on my list to be a maintenance wash and that's one of the that's one of the things that's a big trigger for me is how the uh soap how it's ph balanced and the uh, chance of it stripping the wax. Would I use it on, you know, other vehicles? Sure. But on this one, uh, definitely probably stay with the uh, Gloss Works. I think that is the best soap that Chemical Guys makes. So, I hope this video has been helpful. Um, I'm sorry that I didn't redo this video earlier. I know a lot of people wanted to see the the test done on this car in the same fashion I did the other ones. I am going to try some other soaps. Um, obviously not from the Chemical Guys line because we're done with those. But if you guys have any suggestions, again, please if it's, um, hopefully it's USA based, it's just, it would cost too much. I would like to try some of the European soaps, but it's just too expensive to have them shipped over here. So anyway guys, this is Russell and I will see you guys on the next video.